Peace and greetings to you. This is Omar Abdul Malik. Uh, some of you all may know me from other videos as Dr. O, the PA Pro. I wanted to take a moment to speak to you incoming students, uh, those of you all in particular who may be physician assistant students or new nursing students or uh, medical students. Uh, if this is your first semester, you may have a lot of trepidation about uh, the overwhelming amount of of uh, studying that you're going to have to do. There's things that you can do to make it easier on you. Your, your academic soldier can be easier on you if you do these things. Um, there's something called the Complete Metabolic Panel. Okay, you can see it. So a CMP and a complete blood count, CBC, with differential. So you may hear somebody order a CBC with diff. What I would like to suggest that you do is you memorize the complete metabolic panel and the CBC with diff. And you can do this. This is something you can do before you start your program. It, trust me, it'll make it a lot easier on you because you're going to have to take a course called clinical chemistry uh, that, that is just... I, I almost flunked out of PA school because of clinical chemistry. But things got a lot easier for me when I memorized um, certain values. So here are, this is a copy of my lab results. If you go here, you'll see the CBC and is with differential and platelets. These are the things that you got to know. So WBCs, the white blood cells, red blood cells, hemoglobin, hematocrit, MCV. Don't worry about what that means now. You're going to learn later. So mean corpuscular volume. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about the significance of the numbers. But just memorize. You can do this here. Memorize the reference ranges. So you'll know that a hemoglobin range is 12.6 to 17.7. For a man, uh, red blood cell range is 14 or 4.14 uh, to 5.8, and then know the units also. It won't take you that long. Go down to the differential. Uh, these are EOS here. I don't know if you can see that. EOS. So that's eosinophils, basophils. What else is there? That's all you have to know. Oh, neutrophils there. So that's part of your differential. So you go over here, you should be able to see, go to the reference range, and you can see the, the references for it. So for eosinophils, eosinophils, oh, here it is, I'm sorry. Eosinophils is 1.4 to 7%, is that right? Yeah, I think. Or 0 to 3. So, yeah, so just, you know, you can go across and get, you can see the stuff on Wikipedia. It's all there. Go to your complete metabolic panel, um, glucose level, BUN, that's a very important number, blood urea and nitrogen, it's a very important thing to know. And what else? Here, things like potassium level. So you should know that the potassium level should be between 3.5 and 5.2. The chloride level should be between, doing this backwards here, should be between uh, 97, 97 and 1 point, 108. Sorry. Uh, this will save you from having to be dependent on the appendix section of your clinical chemistry book and you know, try to be dependent on your PDA because at some point in time you're going to do rotations a resident's going to ask you, hey, what's the patient's H&H? &H? You're not going to know what they're talking about. You need to know that the H&H &H stands for hemoglobin and, and hematocrit. But don't worry, but you know, just take the time to discipline yourselves and, and memorize this. Here's something else you should memorize. The lipid panel. Know that the t total cholesterol should be between 100 and 199 triglyceride level should be between I think 0 and 149 
you know, it's it's not that hard. You know, you should you should be able to do it within a couple of days or even in a week. You can put it in your long-term memory. Another thing to memorize before you start your program, the 12 cranial nerves. You're going to need this in anatomy. Don't worry about not understanding, you know, all of the implications of the of the 12 cranial nerves. I don't care what school you go to. You're going to have to know this. If you're doing nursing PA or nurse practitioner PA med school, you got to know these. So, olfactory, optic, ocular motor, transduce was this uh, I'm sorry, trochlear, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial nerve, vestibular cochlear, glossal pharyngeal, vagus nerve, also called the wandering nerve, accessory nerve, hypoglossal. See, it's just 12 of them. Make your own mnemonic up. It will make it a lot easier for you. I talked in one of my videos about the importance of time management. Well, if you come to your program, your, res your uh, respective programs, with some very basic knowledge already in your head, it's going to save you seconds. Those seconds add up to minutes. Those minutes add up to hours. So you can be ahead of the game. And uh, hopefully uh, that, will, that will help you. I plan to come to you all with more videos to uh, discuss you know, things like the uh, 12 cranial nerves and the, and the uh, lab values. I hope to do that in more, more in depth and really do some online classes. But uh, please subscribe to my, my uh, channel and I look forward to um, discussing things with you all. I wish you all the best of success in your academic endeavors. Peace.